Hey, hey, hey. How's it going, everybody? I am so happy to see each and one, every one of you. It's Matt, and it is Wild Wednesday, finally. I uh, got some uh, fantastic one for you. Um, it's going to be for one that's from 1974. Uh, it's unrated. It's running about an hour and 22 minutes-ish, depending on which cut you have. Uh, this is the fully uncut version that... Um, uh, exist as far as I know. I know the old Midnight Movie Madness or the Midnight Movie line from, uh, shoot, I can't remember who, I think it was MGM that released those. It was a double feature with Motel Hell. I am pretty sure that one was cut by, by a minute or so because I know for sure of a scene that, uh, in it that was clearly cut. Uh, starting, starring Roberts Blossom, who is always amazing in everything. Uh, I really like him in, in uh, what is it, Escape from Alcatraz with Clint Eastwood. That's a fantastic film. Definitely one I, I highly suggest for everyone to go out and check. Go out and find a copy and see. Uh, it's pretty reasonably priced as far as I remember, uh, especially... Uh, both ends of the spectrum, DVD and Blu-ray. I, I have a DVD that's a triple feature with that, Death Wish, and I can't remember the third movie. All three, uh, Un Uncommon Valor. All three of them are solid gold. And then let's see, we have Cossette Lee in here, Mickey Moore, Robert Warner, and Pat Orr. And this was uh, double directed by Jeff Cullen and um, uh, Alan Ormsby. And that is none other than Deranged. Yes, Confessions of a, of a, what is it, Confessions of a Necrophile. Yes, what a fantastic movie, you know. Pretty Sally Mae died an unnatural death. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Uh, but the worst hasn't happened to her yet. All right. This is, um, by the way, this is the Kino Lorber Blu-ray that 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 is out there. Don't let these pictures up here fool you. These, this is not a black and white film. It is very, it is in color. Um, it's kind of a drab color. It's nothing bright and vibrant, but it's um, it uh, definitely is not black and white. Uh, the special effects are so so. In my opinion, the dead bodies look a little iffy. Um, now this is a story about Ed Gein. If none of you guys know who he is, he was the uh, uh, the Plainfield Ghoul, or, or the, the he was uh, a guy who who was a grave robber. He would go in and dig up uh, recently dead bodies and take parts from them and make things like like a, a, a belt made of nipples. Um, he kept eyes. He sh made shrunken heads. He he uh, cut other parts. He uh, there was something he did with a uh, vagina as well. Like I want to say he was putting them on, cutting them off, and putting them on on a like a piece of wood, like it was a piece of art, pinning it down. Uh, very sick stuff, you know. Um, if it does sound familiar to you, this is um, well. First off, let me go over here to the special features. I forgot to show you guys that. There's the specs on that. Alright, you see right here it does say it's in color, 1974. Uh, as far as inside, we got zero reversible cover art here. Uh, it is the standard, whoop, let me get that fixed around here. Ah, there we go, that's as close as I'm, there we go. Alright, that's the standard Blu-ray. It is a Blu-ray, it's not a blue BDR. Let me see if I can get my fat fingers to work. See, folks, it is not a BDR. It is a Blu-ray. Um, had a couple specs on there. I noticed. I have to get that, wash that, or not wash it, clean it off. Uh, I just recently rewatched it yesterday. Um, this, at its point, at, at its peak, was um, the guy Ed Gein. There were so many stories that spawned off of him. There was. Um, Leather, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Psycho, um, uh, Silence of the Lambs. Um, there's another fil film called Ed Gein and Star Steve Railsbeck, which that one I feel is much better than this one, but I absolutely adore this one. This one's very, very good. Um, 
The Steve Railsback one is very, 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 very well made. Like, it is probably the most accurate of the two, uh, of any of the films about him or have the the subject matter of his. Uh, now, what are some of the... Th are, uh, what's going on in the movie? Basically... You're following uh, Ezra Cobb, who, who is supposed to be Ed Gein. Ezra's mother dies. She is a religious fanatic, which, you know, if that's your thing, that's your thing. I don't care. That's whatever's fine. I, that's your thing. I'm not worried about that. That's yours. Um, but uh, she's a religious fanatic, and she basically brainwashes uh, poor Ezra into thinking that all women are, are bad and that they're evil p people and that they can't be trusted. And that's where you get gonorrhea, syphilis, and death is from, from women. Which, sure, you get it from women and men. It's it's a sexually transmitted disease, so that's it's not... Obviously, she's crazy thinking that every woman in the world has that. Um... Very, very weird. Now, she ha she ends up dying, and he is so far gone in his brain and brainwashed that he misses her to the point to where he goes and digs up her corpse, uh, brings it back to the house, and essentially tries mummifying it as it's going. Uh, it's already been decayed quite a bit because it's a year after her death when he decides to dig her up. Um, now, well, after he digs her up, he gets these, I guess, he feels like his mom is talking to him still. Like, she, she tells him not to trust anyone. Uh, you can, the one woman you can trust, uh, I forget, something Selby, Selby was her name, I believe, Maureen Selby. Uh, played by, da, 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 her name is, I don't believe is on here, but she plays a, uh, a widower, a widow who, whose husband passed away. I don't remember how long ago, which if you see the picture, it's, uh, Alan Ormsby playing, that's his, his, uh, mug on that picture there. Um. She has a weird little seance that that she wants to get, that she's c claiming to talk to her dead husband, and that her dead husband wants her to basically have, uh, as they put it, carnal relations uh, with Ezra Cobb. Very weird. Uh, there is a scene, a magical scene where that involves a, uh, um, a brain being extracted. That's the scene that was cut throughout, uh, cut on most, most, uh, versions of this film. Um, why is it cut? Uh, I can kind of see why, but I also see it as it looks really fake. Um, I want to say Tom Savini did some work on this. Not his best work. Something about how he, uh, uh, the corpses were made from using plastic skull kits, which were were glued to bodies with chicken wire and painted cotton. So that just shows you what, how, um, schlocky the effects are for this one. I'm gonna go ahead and put that down. Now, as far as what kind of rating I would give this one, um. On the technical side, I would say probably a three. It is does have its uh, uh, problems throughout it. It does get quite dry and dull in places to where I find myself getting a, um, sleepy or I start yawning or or something of that nature. I uh, uh, There are parts in this that are just plain bad. Um, there is a lot of humor set out throughout this. It's it's. Very dark, 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 stark black humor that um, most uh, people won't get or or like. Um, me, I loved it. I thought it was perfect because I am a a sick, sick individual <laughs> when it comes to uh, entertainment. Uh, if you couldn't tell by some of the titles I have reviewed, 
<clears throat> green hell. <laughs> that one I felt so filthy after watching. I, I, you know, that one was so, so real. And it wasn't a gore fest. It was just so good and psychologically, it will attack your. It will attack you. That's how how good it is psychologically. It's very mean spirited. Um, you will not walk away from it feeling good. It is it is raw. Um, unlike this one, this one it's uh, uh what I say a three on the technical side. It's because it, it has messes in it. You can tell that two different people are directing this. Um, a lot of the word by, on the campfire is is that uh, Jeff Cullen was actually uh, Benjamin Bob Clark who it, um, did. Uh, 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 one I watched last night, the amazing uh, original Black Christmas. He went on to do Death Dream. Children shouldn't play with dead things. Porkies. Um, uh, uh, oh shoot, uh, a Christmas story, which I also watched yesterday. And then he did some. When he got to the end of his career, he started making some duds, like he did Baby Geniuses one and two. So the guy was not a solid director for the most part. I am a huge fan of his work because he he has so many iconic films throughout um, horror community, the horror community, uh, comedy, and as well as family films. Very very uh, uh, broad spectrum on for for that director, uh, you know. Bravissimo. I, I, I uh, um, applaud it. Now over to the entertainment side. I'm going to give it a three as well. Um, it's because of the it, it's dullness places. It, the parts where it's dull, it, it, it can be a real put off for a lot of people. Because I have heard people not being able to make it through this because it gets quite boring in places. And I've also heard people not getting through it because they think the effects are terrible. Um, both of those are very, very um, perfect uh, uh, arguments to say you didn't want to finish the film. Uh, do most of you like this film? It's one that I do like, but I'm not like... I don't love like most other films. Like the other... The other film with Steve Rails back, I really like that one. That one's like a like a seven or an eight. This one's rolling at a five or a six. You know, I want to say a six, um, just depending on who you're watching it with. I know it can get uh, uh, be one that if you watch by yourself, that can be a little tough because I've done it in several times, and I, I always the same spots. I get uh, sleepy. All right, guys, that's all I want to mumble about today for Deranged, the Confessions of a Necrophile. Um, do search out a copy of this. The Kino Lorber um, Blu-ray is well worth the money. They they did a pretty good job cleaning this thing up um, and, and presenting it in its complete uncut, um, uh, what it was meant to be, which, you know, I'm happy and thankful for that as well. All right, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. I got a great one lined up uh, uh, Friday. I can't wait for Friday. Friday is, is an awesome, awesome movie. One that uh, was out of print for a long time, but now it's back in print, and I am a happy, happy boy. All right, guys. I hope you're having a great morning, evening, dawn, day, or dusk. Please like, share, sh sh like, share, and subscribe. And as always, peace.